Now, Dave, would you like to go first <laughs> to fight the Alan? I, I personally think that would be a grand idea if you were to, instead of letting me go up ahead, if you were to, you know, considering your previous successes, if you were to lead the charge, you know, it would, it's more glory for you. Maybe an extra kill mark on your, um, on your barrel. Hi everyone and welcome back to Sprocket. My name is Will and today we're going to be designing a tank that would be feasibly designed by a European nation other than the main ones. Some kind of uh, Balkan tank like the Turan series or, or maybe even something Swedish. I don't really know yet. We're just going to go. Uh, it's going to try and be a medium tank. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't really know what this is going to look like, so um, let's see what comes out of it, uh, and I will see you in a moment. Yeah, so designing this one was quite the uh, quite the enjoyable experience, actually. I didn't really know where I was going at first, and you can see I uh, I just made a very basic shape uh, for a, for just a very generic tank, and I kind of just went from there with what what felt cool and. Um, I, I decided to use the different suspension type for the first time, which took a little bit of tweaking to get it to a point where I was happy with it. But that's because um, you do see uh, on like the Toran series, they do have this weird, um, not it's it's not a conventional tank suspension system, but uh, it's also nothing like this to be fair. And uh, I was trying to do that some justice and here you can see me making some huge super structures to put some stowages on the side that's just uh, there so that you can have a uh, like it looks like the rear straightens out again which is something that I wanted on the tank I didn't want the uh, the, the rear to actually uh, slope down too much which which it did in order to accommodate the sponsons which I like the look of but I, I wanted that to then you know what I mean? You see, you can see it on the screen. That's what it looks like. Uh, that's what I wanted. I'm happy with that, actually. I'm really, really happy with the rear of this tank. Uh, and then this storage on the back was the only one that really looked suitable. And I kind of had to merge it into the hull with some utility pieces, which is a little bit strange. But I'm somewhat happy with uh, the end result of, of that. Here, I was feeding my cat. Um, she's decided to be an absolute demon today. She sat in front of me right now, looking very guilty after I um, after I picked her up because <laughs> she does not like getting picked up that's my punishment for her <laughs> when she's being a demon um, how do I say um so much I gave it a 57 millimeter gun at first I thought that would be sufficient because I swear it's been sufficient in the past but I, I could not get this tank to work with just a 57mm gun so I had to uh, up it a little bit. We ended up with a 75mm gun which is what I really initially wanted uh, and that gun is enough to pretty much go through the front of anything which is fairly fitting I feel for a medium tank of this design. However the armour might be a bit high for my liking so potentially in the future I might come back and make a... Uh, a down armored version of it um, to be a little bit more realistic just because sometimes I feel like you are forced in these scenarios to just build a tank that has loads of armor and a good gun and and that's all you really need but um, there's not a lot of emphasis put on you know medium tanks and their advantages over heavy tanks and light tanks um, obviously there are many, um, but uh, a lot of them don't come down to one-on-one -on -one tank combat, ta tank combat, which is kind of um, what the game asks for, from you. So it's a bit funky. I also tried out some side panels, but they looked hideous, so I took them back off. And uh, yeah, I, this is nearly the finished product now. Here you can just see me putting the armor on, and this just steadily increases as I struggled with some of the scenarios. But uh, eventually. Uh, we end up with a pretty damn good tank, if I do say so myself, and I think it's quite a looker, to be honest. Uh, I, I may have fallen in love with it a tiny, weeny little bit. But uh, yeah, I will now return you to the video. So uh, enjoy! Okay, um, here we are with the Mark 14, and uh, I have... I've done it again, boys. I've fallen in love with the tank. I just... 
I love it. I love it so much. I I just want to I just want to hold it. I want to I want to cuddle with this tank. It's it's so weird. <laughs> Like the fact that this bit sticks out and then it and then it narrows down again, but then you've got these like weird stowages that are meant to be vents, and then oh the weird suspension system, the the interweaving track link uh, wheel uh, road wheels. The oh, I love it. I love this tank, and I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I don't care. <clears throat> Hello, welcome back. Slightly jumpy cut there. Man may or may not have run out of space on his SSD. <laughs> Why was I recording to my SSD? Uh, <laughs> okay. <sighs> Breathing moment. We got a 57 mil. Not a 47 mil. 66 mil of pen. Not fantastic. Let's try again. <laughs> Hopefully, this time, I don't run out of space on my <laughs> disc. And we can actually get through a fight. Um, yeah, that was that was uh, interesting. <laughs> so, mobility is... Oh, it's struggling to get up hills there in fourth gear. It's swapping me back to earlier gears. I don't know why it goes all the way to first every time. It seems counterintuitive for it to change gears so dramatically. You'd think it would change to, ooh, like, two or three, not one um, from four. But evidently, it, it disagrees. I think I'm going to need a better gun here, actually, unless I get that shot more often. Uh, just because we are n really struggling to go through these enemies. We only have uh, four of these allied tanks, so not a crazy amount, in fact. Uh, that one's dead now. Oh, I was hoping to get through the transmission casing there. Struggling. We are immobilized. That's fine. I'm just going to try and kill this one. Ah, oh, okay. Better gun required. Better gun definitely required. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got the intended gun on now. Uh, we've got a 75. I'm just going to quickly reload the tank just to check that it's not doing that thing it did with the Churchill, where actually it doesn't have enough space, but it just says it does for me because it's kind. Uh, but no, it does genuinely have enough space. Uh, I haven't changed the armor any, and obviously we were getting penetrated, but it is only a medium tank, so that's not too surprising. However, our gun now has 92 millimeters of penetration, and while we re don't reload in two seconds like we used to, the reload's certainly not slow. So I'd imagine we should be good to punch through the enemy's armor now. Um, I'm noticing this tank might be a bit tall. I might I might lower it down a little bit, uh, just because it is... I'm going to have to change this gearing as well. A multitude of changes occurring right now, just because it's not quite... It's not quite where I need it to be at the moment. Let's try that. Hopefully fourth gear has a little bit more go in it. There we go. We're actually getting up the hills now and uh, not having to, to gear down so aggressively. Um... I say we just push, because, uh, I mean, we're going to have the gun here compared to them. I have missed, which is never a good sh good start for a first shot. I don't know where that shell went, at went actually. I thought it would have hit, but uh, evidently not. Cromwell LTs here. Oh, no, Crom Tilders, sorry. Uh, oh, God. We're going down like flies here. Uh, I don't know if that killed him. I think it did. Let's try this one. I'm going to have to trust that he's gone. There's a lot of enemies here. Lots of little small tanks with uh, guns that can pierce my armor. So it's uh, focusing on thinning out the numbers as quickly as possible. Not successful this time, but I think we could, we've definitely got it in us to, uh, to do this. That was, a, uh, that was a tough set of enemies there, to be honest. Um, there were a lot of them. I was surprised by how many there were, to be honest. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a bit more luck with enemies we can penetrate this time. Ooh, that's a BT3M. Uh, sorry, B4M or whatever it's called. Uh, should be able to kill those pretty easily. Um, 
And there's another one. Bonk. Yeah, there we go. These are more like it. <laughs> Much easier. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. That's a man of war. Uh, he's going to go through our frontal armor no problem at all. I'm going to see if I can get a bit more of a flanking move on this guy. Because I want him, ideally, to keep shooting at my ally for as long as possible. Who's now dead. Um, Got to keep the mobility up. Okay, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's tough. That is tough there. Um, just spawning the uh, Man of War along with that. Uh, problem is, the armor's not even that bad. It's just, um, like, obviously, I, I don't want to increase it because it is a medium tank at the end of the day. And uh, I could maybe squeeze a bit more penetration out of this gun, but, like, you'd think 80 millimeters would cut the mustard. But uh, obviously against a man of war, I guess not a lot's going to go through the front of that thing. Um, fighting the lighter enemies, we can do well. Bloody hell. We don't get a lot of allies, to be honest, is one thing I'm noticing right now. Because we're only getting about four, and then it's spawning a hell of a lot of enemies in comparison to what we seem to have at our disposal. They just seem to have it a little bit easier. Because I feel like that man of war can't be lighter than we are. And those other enemies can't be that much lighter. So... I'm interested why they get so many, because I'm assuming the tonnage is the same. They must have just found a way to get the um, weight of the tanks down significantly. Um, perhaps I need to do a quick think, and I think I just shot his shell out of the air. Okay, I'm going to have to do some work on this, because we're, we're, we're really heavy uh, compared to what we need. So I'm just going to make some adjustments and see if I can get a couple more friendly tanks in the fray. Okay, uh, so I've ended up not at all really lowering the weight. Uh, in fact, I've increased it slightly. Oh, hmm, maybe. Actually, we've got three tanks now rather than four. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Um, <laughs> well, okay. Okay, I've, I've increased the gun a bit more. We've got 100 mil of pen now. Uh it's a very big gun. And a little bit extra armor. So actually what I've done is I've increased the weight. Um, <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, we can kill some of the heavier tanks that we face. I mean, that's not heavier. I'm just bad at shooting. So... There we go. He's dead. Ooh, no, 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 no. You do not do that, sir. That's a Crom Tilda, if I ever seen one. See if we can take him out with this shot. Oh, it bounced. Oh, we got him. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to give that another go, because uh, I think that was a fairly easy set of tanks. So I just want to try it with another set of tanks, and we'll uh, see if we can repeat that success. And uh, then we'll move on to the next mission. Okay, here we are. See if we... Um experience the same or if uh, that was a bit of a fluke run uh, obviously last time I did something like this we got uh, royally smashed so um, obviously leading in with good expectations uh, it's the Russian boys that's gone through there but it hasn't killed that's a man of war okay Straight away, I'm terrified because uh, I saw a man of war kill someone, and that means there is a <laughs> a very big boy coming for me, um, and I'm not sure where. Let's just focus on taking out these innovators for now, and then we can worry about the man of war when we see him. I think I'm the last one left on my side, though, and that felt like a man of war shot. <laughs> Oh, that thing's terrifying, man. That thing is truly terrifying. Okay, yet more armor added, and uh, the AI is still working with it. So, um, 
Gonna give it another go, and uh, maybe if we see a Man of War we can survive, maybe... Oh, those things are just terrifying. They are by far the hardest of the enemies that you face in this, and I, I say that with not a shred of doubt in my mind when I say that. And I think that's one right there. Yeah, well, I bounced off it, so that's a pretty big giveaway. Um, however, so far, it hasn't managed to penetrate us in retaliation, which is a good sign. And I'm going to just hug the bottom of this hill as long as I can. Oh! 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 Yes! Not such a big boy now, are we? Yes! We have gone through the front of a man of war for the first time in this scenario. That is pretty damn impressive, if I do say so myself, for a tank like this. And victory is achieved. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, we'll, um... We'll give a go to the uh, Silent Border mission then, which uh, I can imagine will uh, be an interesting one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the deep dark woods. Oh, spooky nighttime battle. Yes, it's uh, once more <laughs> Silent Border with the Allen and the AT guns. Can our allies take out the AT guns so I don't have to strain my eyes? <laughs> can I defeat the Allen? All this and more coming up at six. <laughs> well, there's an AT gun over there somewhere. Lord knows exactly where. I can't see the thing. So, uh, you know what? I'll just take their word for it. Yeah, there you go. They've <laughs> killed them for me. Problem solved. Right, which one of these buildings is the AT gun behind? Come on. <laughs> Let me see it. No hiding that in my classroom. I think that's an empty stand. I think it's the other one. Yeah, it looks like it. He's aiming at it, so you'd you'd think it would be. Let's join him in aiming at it. Ha oh. Wow. Okay. Um. I'm not needed, am I? <laughs> This guy's got it all. Look at him go! He's got the guts, he's got the glory, he's got the marks on his gun. My god. Look at him go. I'm so proud of him. I'm going to call him Dave. Now, Dave, would you like to go first? <laughs> to fight the Allen? I, I personally think that would be a grand idea if you were to, instead of letting me go up ahead... If you were to, you know, considering your previous successes, if you were to lead the charge, you know, it would, it's more glory for you. Maybe an extra kill mark on your, um, on your barrel. You know, it'll be, it'll be good times. Yeah, look, isn't this fun? Taking out the Allen together. You just, you just stay ahead. Yeah, you just, you do that and I'll just come around here. And then I'll just, you know, pop pop one of these into the side of his turret. Yeah! <laughs> well, that is possibly the easiest we've ever had it on this mission. Um, <laughs> Alan didn't stand a chance! What are you going to do? Get some Mark 14. This is technological prowess at its finest. Sorry, mate. Oh, moments later, Dave was dismembered. But, um... Right, yeah, uh... <laughs> If you enjoyed this one, please have a like, favorite, and or subscribe, and I will see you in the future. Goodbye! Yeah!